Appearing before the Parliamentary Committee of National Economy, the Minister of Trade, Ameria Chamber D, was asked to explain the criteria which was followed to approve only 48 arcades to reopen. The committee chairperson, Hajat Saida Bumba, queried that there are some buildings which worked hard to put standard operating guidelines in place but were not considered. They questioned how some crowded buildings which have not observed COVID-19 guidelines were vetted to reopen and those which had tried to put SOPs were ignored. Because for me, I'm a downtown person. I know some of the cases which have... Uh, been open some of the 48 and really they have issues. And there are those which really needed, they meet the SOPs. Boomba also disclosed that some arcades bribed to be added on the list of those to be opened soon. But Chamba Day refuted the allegations and warned arcade owners against bribery. Pay and how much is paid and the criteria is a million dollar question what the, the, uh, the other arcade owners are asking. I'm not, I, I told them to tell me who is demanding for money. But they haven't come up with any. So but then it takes, it takes two. Yes, I, I said it in line. Chamba Day told the committee that the committee which is doing the job of inspecting buildings for COVID-19 preparedness in city arcades have been dominated by arcade owners themselves and traders association. The inspection rotated around new guidelines requiring arcades to have a dedicated isolation room for possible COVID-19 suspects, hand washing facilities, cleaners dressed in personal protective gear and adequate detergents to use in cleaning. Owners and operators were also advised to install CCTV cameras at each entry and exit and body temperature screening for all clients and attendants using functional infrared thermometers. The premises and access ways should not be blocked. If there are any partitions, they should be removed. 87 arcades and whose operations are still restricted were inspected but 39 did not meet the set guidelines and will remain closed according to Chamber D. The task force was denied access to buildings of two tycoons. Some have refused. We have about two or three who have refused to turn up at all or to open their arcades. So now these are the recommendations we are taking to the president. Trade Minister Chamba Day told the committee that the arcades that have conformed to the set guidelines will have to wait for the president to open them. Report compiled by Fred Kajubi for Speak Uganda, Record TV.